This is a focus leader. Do your movies look like this? Do your soundtracks sound like this? Or like this? If so, you need this. A focus leader. First, set your lens so that these lines are sharp and clear on all parts of the screen. Now, set the volume control on your projector. The sound level should be adjusted until my voice can be clearly understood in all sections of the room. You are now ready to participate in another Pan American Travel Adventure. Souvenirs from Bermuda. They keep alive its sights and sounds and spirit. This carriage bell evokes a ride for two. You'll always remember your first trip around Bermuda. Walk your horses, the sign says. The buggies have spokes that glisten and tops that boast fringes. The clop of horses' hooves strikes a different tempo than the one you left behind. The speed limit in Bermuda is enforced at 20 miles an hour. through cuts which show the stuff Bermuda's made of, coral growth and limestone. Other modes of travel, taxis with a fringe on top, motor-assisted bikes. Climb the Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. View Bermuda's reefs from your plane you saw them first. The Bermudas are the world's most northerly coral islands. Two hours by jet clipper from the United States, Bermuda lies east of the warming Gulf Stream. Always recall old Fort St. Catherine. Or a red sail at high noon. Or the colors of the water that remain the clearest in the North Atlantic. Unexpected gives you pleasure. How could you forget that young chap who motioned you to stop? A traffic problem? No, just the world's smallest drawbridge. Wide enough to let a mask come through. Prolonged enough to let you, the visitor, observe the sailors. 
After all, there's no hurry. A golf bag tag and trophy recall Bermuda's sports. You never wait to play a round of golf in Bermuda, for no place on earth has more courses for its size. All of them offer seascapes. And what about the sport of fishing? Toss a crust of bread on these waters and the reaction will delight you. The fish approach like hungry pigeons. Out on blue water, enthusiastic fishermen find a challenge to their skill. Thanks to the Gulf Stream, Bermuda's fishing is famous. Yellowfin tuna. Another yellowfin tuna. A snapper for the table. Sport means sailing, too. The races in Bermuda attract world competitors. Maybe you enjoyed watching Bermuda's dinghies hull down with full-size crews and packing all of the canvas they can carry. The wake of white and blue excites the power boaters. Navigating these waters entices every skipper, from small craft to cruisers. You'll never forget your first underwater visit. Tropical fish you've seen only in aquariums make friends with you in Bermuda. Getting acquainted is simple. They eat right out of your hand. Submarine landscapes deserve an artist who dares to paint them on the spot. Scientists and just plain visitors enjoy Bermuda's unique underwater center.
Pink sand in a glass. This souvenir recalls Bermuda's outstanding feature, her pink sand beaches. Yours to discover and to use at will. Away through of houses, the blue waters and sky, all whispers is not a lie. For Bermuda's still paradise, still has its charm. Just waiting to welcome you once again in his arms. So when you're feeling deep, worn out on your feet, this is my sound advice. Come to Bermuda for all its paradise. The white roofs of houses, the blue waters and sky. All whispers is not a lie, for Bermuda's still paradise, it still has its charm, just waiting to welcome you once again in its arms. So when you're feeling deep, worn out on your feet, this is my sound advice. Come to Bermuda for all its paradise. We say Bermuda for its paradise. Bermuda runs 22 miles from end to end and to one and a half miles at its widest. Wherever you are, you're in reach of a pool or a beach. pictures you take make a special souvenir. They'll recall your Bermuda trip from your very arrival. Let's reveal a sentimental statistic. Candidly photographed, 20% of the people, young and old, hold hands when they arrive in Bermuda. Hamilton, the capital, retains the atmosphere you sense on arrival. Consider the main street of the Bermudas. Your pictures of it hold the essence of these islands. The air of unobtrusiveness pervades. No neon signs exhort you here, no high pressure. Favorable custom tariffs on British and European goods make Bermuda a profitable place in which to shop. British China is world-renowned and attractively priced in Bermuda. Perfumes, French and Bermudian. The shops expect unhurried browsing. No one urges you to buy, 
but quality cashmeres can be bargains in Bermuda. Every price tag catches the eye. They read pounds and shillings and dollars and cents. Tax-free gifts include the most unusual clocks. A hidden magnet turns a turtle's head to telling time. The pictures you take of your visit will always show some of Bermuda's flowers, for one flower or another is always in bloom. Perhaps you'll come when the Poinciana's scarlet beauty dot the islands. The flame of the forest they call this spreading tree. Or maybe you'll come at springtime when Bermuda's Easter lilies reach their peak. Sightseeing in Bermuda naturally involves the mother country, England. England affects the accent of the speech, the manners of the people. Bermuda is the oldest self-governing British colony. Its settlers came before the pilgrims sailed to Massachusetts. Today, it's Parliament Building, Hamilton City Hall, and churches of weathered stone reflect Bermuda's long and stable history. They give you memories to take back with you. And so do the moon gates of Bermuda. Bermuda is also Bermudian. The Talbot brothers offer you its music.
Life's magic, they say. They'll say you. 